What's up everybody? Welcome back to another how-to video. Today you're in for a good one. In today's video I'm going to show you the trick to remove Torx bolts where the Torx star pattern is stripped out. I have fought the stripped Torx bit many times. I've won some battles and lost some battles. But in the end I won the war and I'm going to share the game changer with you today. You're going to have to use your imagination a little bit because I've already won all my Torx head battles. So this here is a Torx head bolt. This one doesn't have any issues but for this example let's pretend it's stripped out. There are two types that I have dealt with. This one which is a button head typically used for seat belts and then this other style which is the flat head and it sits in a countersunk hole so the top face of the bolt is flush with the top of the material so imagination time let's pretend both of these are completely stripped out and the torque socket will not work in them now let's thread them in to our material thread it in and thread it in and now they're rusted in and stuck so the first go-to trick I would try is to get a set of channel locks or vice grips on the button head sometimes you have room to get them on there and turn them and you can just turn it right out of the hole but it won't work on the flathead maybe you have one of these slick kits that's made to fit on the outside of a bolt head and grab it while you loosen it. None of these will fit this size and these will not work for flatheads. And then there's always the good old easy out which I have mixed feelings about. You can see all my smaller ones are missing or broke if that tells you anything. That's where you drill a hole down through the center of the bolt and then you use this which has reverse flutes on it so when you loosen the bolt it embeds itself and tightens it inside of the hole ex extracting it. But that's not what we're talking about today. I'm talking about bolts that are rusted, stuck, the torx is stripped out. What do you do? The good news is that I have a no-fail solution for you. The bad news is that it requires a welder. But let's keep going. First, you get a nut. You find one that'll fit on the top of the bolt. Then, you fill weld the inside of the nut welding it to the bolt. When you do this, it'll also heat up the bolt and loosen the bond where it's rusted in. Then with the nut welded on, you can get a proper socket wrench on with some leverage and turn that baby out. So let's do it. I'm going to weld these nuts on and we're going to turn these babies out with the wrench. It might smoke or burn a little bit because it's wood but we're using our imagination.
Okay, the hex nuts are welded on. Keep in mind that they're very hot, so don't touch them. Now with the hex nut in place, we can get a proper wrench on them. And, and turn them out. These aren't actually threaded in because I drilled holes in the wood. So I'm just going to pull them out. And next, you want to stick around for this. To finish the Torx bolt dilemma, I once heard some very good advice. Go to the hardware store and get yourself some good hex bolts. Now I'll reveal the proper way to finish this up. Go to the hardware store and get yourself some hex head bolts. Apply anti-seize to the threads so they don't get stuck again. Then go back to the store and purchase a slingshot. So you can shoot the Torx head bolts as far away from you as you can. Hey, if you don't recognize this, this is from a previous video labeled How to Build an Awesome Slingshot. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I hope this video was helpful. Hit the subscribe to see more new cool videos. I'm making a new video every day or every week. And smash the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Going. There's always something funny at that. Oh, okay. And this and shooting these in the forest is the funny thing this time.